is an assault hunter, the team's primary damage dealer. The auto-fire shotgun deals bursts of damage at short range. Shrapnel grenades cover your target in weak spots, maximizing the damage from your auto-fire shotgun. Use the mortar cannon on slow-moving targets to deal heavy damage at range. Remember to use your personal shield. First, hit the monster with your shrapnel grenade. Then follow up with the auto-fire shotgun. This maximizes your damage. When the monster is moving slowly or is standing still, switch to the mortar cannon. If the monster stops to kill your teammates, use this to your advantage. If the monster's moving quickly, aim high to arc your mortar cannon and lead the monster. Slim is the medic. He keeps the team alive. Each shot from your leech gun damages your target while reducing the cooldown on your healing burst. The more damage you do, the faster you heal your team. The monster can't smell while he's inside your spore cloud, giving your team an advantage in close combat. Your healing drone can be sent to any teammate at any distance. It heals them over time, even reviving in-cap hunters. Don't forget to use the healing burst. Fight too close to the monster, and its melee attacks will interrupt your shooting. Stay too far away, and you won't land enough leech pellets to heal effectively. Positioning is key. Find that sweet spot in the mid-range where you can damage the monster and heal your teammates. And don't forget to do it all inside of a score cloud. You have the largest healing burst radius of any medic, so go ahead and fire that healing burst when your teammate is in trouble. They're probably in range. The healing drone dies easily, so use it on teammates who are not under attack. It is very effective at extreme ranges. It's great for saving in-cap teammates, too. Crow is the trapper. He hunts and traps the monster. Gobi, your pet bat ray, outlines any nearby creatures. Send him in any direction, and he'll sniff out the monster. The stasis gun slows the monster down. Rapid fire shots slow the monster for a very short time. Hold the fire button to charge a shot, which slows the monster longer, allowing it to switch to other pieces of gear. Quick bursts with your long rifle do normal damage, but holding the fire button charges a shot, which ignores the monster's armor, dealing direct damage to its health. Remember to use your mobile arena. Find long, open paths for Gobi. This maximizes his visibility and the chance he'll find the monster. If you know where the monster's hiding, but can't see it, send Gobi. He'll highlight the monster and alert your teammates. Lead with a short burst from your stasis gun. Its effects last long enough for you to switch to your long rifle. Perfecting the cycle keeps the monster slow, maximizes your damage, and keeps your teammates safe. Charge shots from your long rifle completely bypass the monster's armor. Once the armor is gone, switch to rapid fire shots. They deal damage at a better rate than charge shots. Sunny is the support hunter. She provides the team with a tactical advantage. Deploy your shield drone to protect your teammates. Your fuel booster supercharges a teammate's jetpack, giving them extra fuel and faster. 
faster flight speed. Your mini nuke grenade launcher deals heavy damage. Remember to use your cloak. Boosting your trapper helps them find the monster quickly. Boost teammates who are under attack to give them extra mobility. Deploy the shield drone on high ground to give a good line of sight to you and your teammates while making it harder for the monster to destroy.